Good morning, good morning. I look like Steve Irwin. Look at this shirt, guys. When I put it on this morning, <laughs> I felt like a freaking like zoo employee. Every zoo employee has this shirt. It just says their zoo right here. I'm feeling like an animal expert today. Hey, do you work at like Wacky Dave's Wallaboo exhibit? Wallaboo? Is a wallaboo an animal? <laughs> Wallaboo, no. Guys, is a wallaboo an animal? I don't even know anymore. Guys, trust me, I'm the one wearing the shirt. I should know this. It's a wallaboo. They're often found in Australia, as most things are. <laughs> Let's get to it, guys. DIY time. This week, we are not doing resin DIY. I got an Instagram DM from, there's their username. I, I can't think of it at the top of my head. Spencer or Spence or something like that. And he basically said, hey, Dan, I saw this really cool thing. You should totally try it. I'd love to know how to make it. I said, cool, Spence. Well, let me do that for you, buddy. That's what we're doing today. I'm going to show you guys how to make some Spotify playlist displays. It's not gonna make any sense right now. Once you see the final product, you're gonna be like, Hello! I think I get it! They're gonna be like, hey, are you here for the snake problem? I'm like, no, sorry, sir. <laughs> Just a shirt. <laughs> First stop on this DIY is, surprise, surprise, Micheles, or as a lot of people like to call it, Michaels. Upon entering the store, you want to find the picture frame section, which is often in the back, and you want to look for a wall float frame, it's called. Uh, luckily today, they were 40% off, so deal, baby. Uh, I grabbed a 11 by 14 inch frame, but you guys can grab any size. I then went to the Cricut section, and I got some white premium vinyl, because you are going to need that as well. Sorry for this awful shot. Day two. In all fairness, this has nothing to do with days, okay? This DIY can be done in one day. We're not working with resin, so we don't have that 24-hour waiting time. It was, I, I woke up at 6 a.m. yesterday. I did my errands in the morning, which you guys came along, and then uh, the second I lay on the couch and Charlie comes near me, I fall asleep. I don't know what it is. The guy's got this magic power about him. He's just so damn cuddly, and so that's what happened. Yeah, I fell asleep, so the day was kind of like bizarre. I'm not the napping type, so when I wake up from a nap, it's just like, I'm like ultra confused. <laughs> so at Michael's, I picked up an 11 by 14 inch floating frame. For this DIY, you're gonna need to get a floating frame. You could get a normal picture frame and remove the glass but it's gotta be see-through. Now, I know you guys don't really know what I'm making yet, but what you're also gonna need is your favorite album. This is one of my favorite albums. This is Take Off Your Pants and Jacket by Blink-182. We're not actually using the CD, we're using the CD cover. I made these. I bought the entire Blink-182 discography, and I bought all these frames in my room for years. This has been in this frame for over 10 years. The oxygen in here is from 10 years ago. Let's breathe it in and see what happens. Okay, get ready. Three, two, one. <gasps> Hi guys, my name's Dan, I'm new here, can I come play? No, sorry, your nipples are actually way too huge. Just joking. We got the cover, this is the real cover, and we're done with this. Let's unwrap this, and I'm gonna show you what we're doing with the cover. We're unlatching it. The back is actually just this empty square piece. You put your arm right through it. That's just to hold the glass in place. There's also two sheets of glass. We're just sandwiching the art in between. You wanna make sure your canvas is absolutely spotless. So I'm using some glass cleaner to avoid any eyelashes or eyebrow hairs that it might have fallen. We're gonna set the front of the frame aside. We're only using this at the very, very end of this DIY. What we're gonna do next is take our album cover, we stick it right in the center. Picture a Spotify screen where the album is up top and then the tools are at the bottom. We're gonna take a little bit of tape, fold it in on itself, flip our album cover over, and we're just gonna do one in each corner. Just like that, okay, perfect. Step one's done. You guys are gonna have to pick one song off of this album, or, well not this album, but whatever album you put there. One of my favorite tracks on this album is called Story of a Lonely Guy. So we're actually gonna put that here. In order to get this stuff done, we're gonna need to go over to the computer and use some Photoshop. Now, this next part is involving Photoshop. You guys don't need to do it this way. This is just gonna be the most aesthetically perfect way of doing it. You can also paint it on by hand. I want to go with like a perfect look, so I'm going to use Photoshop. Oh, this is bringing me back to my shot and forgot days. Here we are in Photoshop. We need to make a canvas that is the exact same size as our glass canvas. We're going to go over here to the right. We're going to change this to inches, and we have 11 inches wide by 14 inches high. This right here is the exact same size as our glass piece. So that essentially just represents the Blink-182 album cover. We need to get the exact same font that Spotify uses on their platform. Spotify font. Spotify font free download. So let's go download now. It looks like this song is in bold. Artist is in Gotham Light. We've downloaded the font successfully. Now we're gonna go back into Photoshop and we're gonna type in our song. Story of a lonely guy. There it is right there. Let me that's smaller. And then we're gonna put the band Blink-182. Okay, we're just gonna put that underneath like that. On Spotify, it's not actually centered. If you guys wanna do centered, it might aesthetically look a bit better. 
on your wall, but I actually kind of want to go with the Spotify look. So we're going to go ahead and put this over to the side. We're going to put the band underneath. Blink-22 is not in higher case, it's in lower case. The song titles aren't all capitalized either. Jeez, I've already messed up a lot. It's like that. Next, we need to add in the little images that make it spotify E. This is perfect. This is perfect. We're going to go ahead and import. And we need to get things from here. So we're actually going to take the heart. We're going to take the sound bar. Oh my God, what am I doing? I can just screenshot that from my phone. I might as well just do that. So this is what we need at the bottom here. Take that entire thing, bring it into here. Yeah, see that font is actually pretty close to the same. We're also going to delete all of the other stuff that isn't white here. Let's just change the background here really quick. So I just flipped the coloring around just so we could see uh, where our details are. And then we're just gonna clean it up a bit. I'm starting this at 14 seconds on my playlist just because that's when the, the lyrics start. Just one last piece in here. Just cause this looks a little weird. Let's move this stuff up a bit. There, I know it's not how it is, but it just looks a bit better. That right there is essentially what we're making. Again, guys, you can do this with any album. This part you can do by hand, but I'm gonna show you now how we're gonna get this onto that. We're actually gonna use Cricut. If you guys don't know what that is, it basically will cut out stencils for you. It'll cut out stickers, anything you need. Exact precision. You wanna save this as a PNG if you're using a Cricut machine. If you're doing it by hand, none of this matters. Next, we're gonna launch the Cricut design space. We're working with 11 by 14, so this cannot pass the 11 section. Beauty, baby! This is gonna be so good. It's tossing it onto a canvas for us. Next step is we cut this out on the Cricut. Get that set up. Oh, the beautiful Cricut machine. Guys, honestly, this was my first love in the DIY world. This thing is so versatile. What we're gonna do first is take our premium vinyl and we're actually gonna lay it out to the same dimensions as to what our Spotify tool set is and then cut it. You don't wanna be wasteful here, so only use what you need. Then we're gonna set it in the machine. Once it's ready, we're gonna hit go and this machine is actually gonna cut it. What you can see here is that silver cylinder actually has a blade in it that is cutting out our exact Spotify logo, everything we just did in Photoshop. There's Blink-182, so it's really fine. So those little dots right there in the time code, that's gonna be kind of hard. We're gonna use some transfer tape to basically suck up our, our piece and then put it back onto the glass. So we're now gonna weed out all the extra and just leave our piece there. Now the weeding out process isn't usually very difficult, but since we're using very small fonts and details, it's gonna take a little bit longer because you have to be careful and make sure it's actually sticking down. Next, we're gonna use some transfer tape. It's basically just a large piece of scotch tape. We're gonna put it down and you're gonna flatten it on top. Let's transfer it over. Once you're ready to transfer your piece over to the glass, you gotta make sure it's centered. Because we are using permanent vinyl, wherever you stick it to, it will be hard to lift off. Then you're gonna take a credit card and just smooth it all on to make sure all of your vinyl is stuck to the glass before peeling it back. Peel it back and let's hope it stays. Best part. Oh my gosh, it's so satisfying. Oh, it looks so good. Perfect, guys, look at this. There's some certain spots on this that didn't get picked up with the sticker or the transfer tape. One of those spots being the two dots between the timestamp, I on blink. That's it actually, everything else got transferred. We're gonna use some of the world's whitest white here. Like that. Boom. Boom. It's freaking perfect now, oh my God. Big reveal. Boom, oh, that looks so good. <laughs> there it is, and you can go and put this on the wall wherever you want to display it. Let's go check it out. Anyways, right here, boom. There it is, that's what it looks like on the wall. Unfortunately, in my house, every wall is white, so I could end up putting a black piece of paper behind this, uh, but it also creates kind of a cool shadow, but there it is. So you guys can replace this with some of your favorite music. It looks super clean, I love this frame. And just like that, we have a custom piece of art. It is pretty reflective because it is glass, so you can kind of get the gist of it here. This is a great DIY if you've got a wedding song, if you guys, like, as a couple, you guys have a song together. 
you can sort of pay tribute to it. Big shout out to Adam who sent me this DIY on Instagram. If you guys have any that you want me to try, send it my way and maybe I'll do it. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Every single Wednesday, I have a new DIY coming out. If you guys want to buy any of my art, there will be a lot of stuff going up shortly, which is in the description down below. And of course, follow me on Instagram, at Danocracy. I post every day on my story, behind the scenes. I'm going to have a photo of this. I'm going to photograph it really well so you guys can actually see what it looks like in person. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next Wednesday. See you guys later.